Oh, shoot, I didn't realize I was muted. Let me know when we're live. <laughs> okay, once the game starts. Okay. All right, are we in? I think we're in. I don't know if we're live, but I, I think, I hope we're live. I sure do hope we are. Um, are we live? Hello? Um. I need this. Oh, are we, are we live? We are live, okay. Cool. Hello everyone, and welcome to the upper finals of this NA season. Oh, someone's someone's crashed. Okay, lovely start. Um, but this is the the, the upper finals between McDonald's Gaming and uh, Namdi Yakuba Alliance, I believe is the full name. NYA, and uh, interestingly, we might end up having to restart this one already. Um, yes, potentially we might have to. Well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> um, but I mean, if the agents in front of you tell you anything, it's going to be an interesting one because McDonald's Gaming have locked in five duelists, which is lovely. So, yeah. Uh,. I'm just gonna ask production, are we all good here? Spook has joined back into the lobby, but are we, are we all good? Do you have control over the lobby? Okay, alright. Okay, well, I think we should be fine. Um. Anyway, for, for those of you watching who are familiar with the, uh, the VLR Community Cup and this NA season, uh, I should let you guys know that Shirakami, which is the raise for McDonald's Gaming, is in fact our Swedish goat, Mint, a uh, lovely tournament organizer. And uh, yeah, he's, he's playing from Europe, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. I mean, we'll see how the five duels goes, but anyway, Jetstream straight down with the Sky Flash through the Sky Smoke, followed up by Red, who gets two, actually. A bit whiffy, does manage to get out with the TP as well. And all things considered, I think that fight went pretty well for NYA. Up in numbers here, it is a pistol, of course, so this could still go either way. Gonna be Wolf Cactus and Kurakami left to try and pick up the pieces and make something happen here for this pistol round. And, oh gosh, wait, I left the stream unmuted. My bad. Um, <laughs> uh, I started hearing myself and I was like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, they're going to be walking up long here, slowly creeping up. And it is just Neptune here, so they have made the wrong reads. And the pings are coming out, marking that maybe something could be flanked. But they're actually deciding to take the TP, which might not be the right decision. Oh, okay, no, now I see what those pings are. They're going to go all the way through spawn and core. He'll spot it, and that might notify these defenders that this hit is going towards B. Left. Of course, numbers now equalized with Core falling, and they are going to go all the way to B. The defenders split completely, so it's going to be a 2v1 on site. They could still take the TP, but does not seem like they will. They're going to go straight into site. Great hot hands to try and hold back Neptune, but the classic finds one, but does get traded, and now the 1v1 red. Great opener to the round. Will he be able to find Wolf Cactus peeking into CT? Dink comes across, but that Raynor over here keeps Wolf Cactus alive. Both low now, both would fall to one, and will be red. Who will be taken down by Wolf Cactus and the pistol going to McDonald's Gaming. And a good round conversion for this pistol. It got close and it was not the greatest of starts, a bit bit of a skirmish down long. Uh, classic classic play there with the sky smoke from the brimstone, and then a little flash through. Maybe not the most common pistol play, but 
hey, it, it, it's better to make a play than to just sit back and do nothing, in my opinion. Now we're going into the Santa Ica round. We actually have some forcing coming out. You can see Red has the Bucky full shields, buying all the way down to no credits, and Core forcing out the Outlaw. And two shorties here. Ramsey looking for one, but does get taken down by the Judge. Jetstream here next to take contact as the Duelist are all the way in, and well, Mint checks the corner, so good discipline there to make sure to clear that box. It can be dangerous if there's rifles, but Unfortunately, just the classic won't be able to do much, and Furikara now fighting into CT, won't find any, just a few body shots as Mint continues on the warpath, peeking around the corner with the Judge, and finding a third on the round, could get an ace, it would be kind of wild with the Judge. Uh, yeah, this has not gone super well for these, <laughs> for the NYAs. Yeah, Memballs will peek around with the Bucky, and... Red Falls and Core gonna try and get out with this outlaw, but I I don't think that's gonna happen. Is yeah, Mimbles shuts that out. I believe that was all five shotgun kills for McDonald's Gaming. So love to see that with the pace you can get with five duelists, you can run down and really close the gaps and get those short range fights, especially on a map like this where it's a lot of lot of close range angles. I mean. Of course, you can kind of choose what sort of fights you want to take depending on where you go on the map. So, hey, the shotguns, they, they do have some merit in this game. And now, interestingly, we're going to see another one come out for Red. I did hear some talk in the pre-game lobby that Red has been uh, absolutely destroying people in Diamond Elo with just the Bucky. So, and with that being said, he gets two. Great opening here. Mint and Mimbles both falling and a flash around the long by Jetstream will drop Kurikara. This bonus, it had some bite to it, but it hasn't been going great so far. And all my doubts about this maybe questionable buy are all coming to a close as well, the Defenders, they peek out and Kor will actually drop Wolf Cactus. Kor, my goat. I don't know if he's still in bronze, but I mean, I remember the last time I casted him, which was about two weeks ago, he ranked up from from bron oh, from iron to bronze. Is he iron now? Did he fall back down to iron? Oh, he's back in iron. Tragedy. Um, But I mean, nah, Kor, Kor is my goat. He had, he had some crazy plays. He only plays Cypher, but like... He, he just dunks on, like, Immortal players as a Cypher from Iron. It's crazy. Anyway, this should be the first full gun round. Of course, Core has accidentally forgotten to buy. Uh, not that that matters, since it's kind of a gamble if he gets one with any gun. I, I think the chances are about the same. I think he just clicks and it might work. And anyway, Red will get another opening. Dropping Kurokami. We'll be able to get out as well. Those Jara TPs, really good for causing a little bit of confusion. That triple I will be revealed by the clone as Kurikara TPs into Cubby. Now the Dimensional Drift is going to be able to spot out some of these players and hopefully start this retake as Jetstream does start off well. And Red coming out with the shorty, dropping Kurikara. Kurikara. Membles does get two back, but they are very low in HP. They're going to take the spike over towards the A site. Looking to see if any TPs are going to come through to try and follow him, but it's going to be one flank and one in CT, and that waiting might have cost him here. Three HP. Should see that TP go through, and yeah, red peeking around. Four kills in the round. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good start for red here. Ten and three after four rounds. And uh, yeah, really, really carrying his team over the mark here. Should be down to a kind of half by here for, for Mac is gaming. Yeah, Sheriff's across the board. One classic. Of course, that is going to be Mimbles. Probably popping the show... Oh, not the showstopper. The Blade Storm. I need to touch up on my ability naming, but all good. It looks like we might get a little bit of a skirmish on Long here once again with Jetstream and Red hair. Flash should get the info, but there's five players here. It would be unwise to peek out a great blind, so... And that drops... The knives not gonna find their mark and that's a lot of danger taken out of the round two kills found and no trades to be seen it's jetstream gonna bring out the trailblazer just see how many more there are but i don't think quite spotted them of course that curve wall will alert them that there is still some presence here as red is just continuing to fight here and 
Core will actually take two. Core also on a lovely start here. Three kills to his name, and that's more than over half the lobby. So, I mean, yeah, like I was saying, Core, my absolute goat. With the Guardian as well, no less. I mean, absolute precision on show from Core. Anyway. Yeah, so I mean, I, I don't think this is the first time I've seen Macus Gaming go for the five duelists. I think it might be a bind thing for them. I don't know if it's planned, but I have seen them play other things which are no more normal, but I've also seen them play the five duelists and I forget, I forget, I just forget if it went well or not. I probably should have checked before the game, but yeah, I, I, I woke up for this, you know? Anyway, going into this round, we've had some kills going back and forth, more, more aggression on long hair as core down to 26 HP might choose to fall back here as the gap does get closed, but he will escape with his life. So these trips can still alert them towards the site as a great spy cam will spot out one. The dimensional drift will eventually spot out core and all a bit whiffy with those guardian shots. Kurikara pops out of the ult, but Red will drop him as he peeks around the corner and finds another one onto Mambles. Looking for more. Wolf Cactus showing his head for just a second as Ramsey actually just walking up the flank. Don't even know how he managed to get there. We'll be joined by Redzi in this 2v1 and it's all down to Mint. Showstopper available. We'll see if he chooses to invest this as the Diffuse does get tapped into Dimensional Drift. Okay, he's not seen and the first is taken down and the flick onto the second. The 1v2 converted by Mint, the Swedish man himself, winning out the 1v2 just to close it up and buy us off at three apiece. I think, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty necessary round to win. I think they would have been a bit pressed for money if they hadn't. It's going to be another full buy round out for everyone. We'll have to see how things go. So, uh, yeah, I mean, nothing but, like, aggression, really, all across the board. A lot of fights on long and a lot of fast hits coming in. There's Red. <laughs> He's got a flash of his own, and he sprays down two, and the, <laughs> the runner back. Oh, tragedy, popping it just while blind, and another flash! Oh my gosh, Red. He is not stopping, and he's going to keep going forward. On for the ace. Give it to him as Wolf Cactus. Well, he won't be found by Red. But we'll get taken down at the end of the day anyway. No ace, but Neptune also starting to come alive here. Of course, with Red on 17 kills, it's kind of hard to show dominance on the server. I mean, there's only so many kills to go around. <laughs> so... Neptune, by all means, is an amazing player as well on the raise. But I mean, at the moment, it's it's Red's... Red's Yo really coming out and... Showing McDonald's Gaming that he is not to be messed with. I mean, he's also just diffing Kurikara like, what? I, it's too early in the morning for math. I, yeah, and you know what? I was, I was gonna try and do math and I've decided against it as Jetstream here just contacting out he's gonna run into a lot of players and they're not looking at him they're playing anti-flash and Jetstream sprays them all down of course this is just an eco but that's a mistake there no one holding at all and what a ballsy play to just contact down short it pays off with three and well some trash talk in the chat now as Core has picked up another one yeah, this is these this five duelist comp. You'd think with the five duelists, they'd be the ones running it down, but it's actually gonna be NYA taking the fight to them. Whether it be with the flashes and or just walking down and taking the fights. That was an ambitious play. It pays off in the end. Jetstream. With these sky changes, I mean, some people might not choose to flash towards long, but quite happy to fight it. No one there this round. It's all going to be out of hookah. These trips should spot them out, and no one's checked long. Kurikara does manage to get the trade with the bulldog. We'll see if they can get any more as the clone does get broken and flash out. Does get two and third. How has he done that? The spray. There's no world where he should be getting three there. 
Fun. And now it's all down to Mint. Four players in core in the back lines. Doesn't check the right corner and <laughs> they have now found each other and it doesn't matter. The diffuse has come through. Sprayed down. This is disaster. How how has Red done that? I mean the first was blind, sure. That's that's all fine, well and good. Just good honest Valorant there. But the second with that spray, and then the third peeking out, not even blind at all, just the spray connects onto his head. How? How? There's no world he should be getting away with this. Like, I, I don't even want to say that's good spray control. That has to just be luck, surely. There's no way. And he's done 20 kills now. He's 20 and 4. That is insane. Who's next? Anyway, it's going to be an A hit for once. I think this might be the first that we've seen so far. And it is just two players in showers, so we'll see if they get cleared. The showstopper will find one, but does get traded. Mint dropped as Ramsey now has this orbital strike. Red in the back lines, takes down two. Kurikara just TPing directly to him. Mimbles will take Jetstream down and CT with the Bucky. But Red is not having any of it. Three on the round once again. Just Kurokami left, the spike not planted, just a sheriff in hand. And yeah, this is not looking good. One will be dropped. I do want to comment that this is quite the crosshair. Uh, so... <laughs> Sometimes I do wonder what McDonald's gaming are doing if they're just... Just, uh, just trolling a little bit, potentially, having some fun. I don't know how much fun you can be having when Red's dropping kills like this every single round, but... I mean, I'll, I'll, I still have some belief in them. It is 7-3. They have put three on the board, and, you know, I, even though they're definitely not likely to win this map, I will say that it's it's not necessarily over in this series. I mean, McDonald's game, and they've, they've shown that they deserve to be here is, is, is definitely true. Of course, same with MYA. It's, it's been close series all across the board. I don't think there's been... A single series that either of these teams have played in the playoffs that haven't gone to three maps. So, even though this one looks a bit shaky so far, it's not over just yet. If we look back to this round, three players on A. None of them have the spike, even though they have pretty much the whole site. And this is a this is a round that's actually going pretty good here. Ramsey getting pinched on. Won't get any. It's all down to core. So, for once, the hit actually works out and. They have the A site to plant, and Core has four players to kill. Didn't quite see exactly what happened there, but it looked like just the Showers players kind of got overwhelmed just by everyone else running at them. The uh, Core managing to find one, but won't get any more. I mean, Core, all things considered, is still doing pretty well. I mean, he's got five kills. I mean, Red's got five times that many, but I guess that's the difference between an Iron player and an Immortal player. So now, looks like we might be going back to this classic B hit. We'll see if they choose to go up long or if they choose to try and challenge Huka. And, uh, I, it, might, it looks like Jetstream might be doing some stuff again. Might be looking to contest this. Actually choosing to pop the Seek is almost immediately, almost off of nothing as Core chooses to get out. Here in the runner back popped as, yeah, the pressure is felt and Red has an op here and it's a collat! Tragedy on sight! Two falling. It's now left in pieces. Do they choose to take the TV? They do. The A site is completely open, so it's, it's not over just yet, but in this... 2v4 in this last round and a half. You're going to be hard pressed to get anything done in the spike. Not going down. Actually stopped by the dog. Mint will get one, but Red popping out. Actually gets lost. Mimbles takes him down. And suddenly this is a 2v2. Of course, Mimbles is low hair and core. Dropping Mint. Showing our tournament organizer who is boss. It's all down to Mimbles. Up in hand. Core just wide swinging will reveal his position. 
As the spike now can be tapped. Not choosing to stick just yet, as I say that. Ramsey does get on. Oh, and through the box is a headshot. It's all down to core, but Mimbles this is no problem. doesn't have a chance with that operator dashing in. And does he have time? I think he does. It's gonna be 8 4. And you have to question that decision to dash into him. Feeding core the kill. Switching sides. So it's 8 4 going into the half. We'll see if this five duels composition can do anything on this defense. And I mean, you'd think five duelists would be better on offense. You'd, you'd think, right? Like the duelists, they're good at going in. They're good at, at fighting and then taking sights and stuff. But I think it, it might actually turn out that defense might be their half. Because I mean, we saw, we've just seen NYA absolutely obliterate them on the defense by just really pushing and taking the fight to them. So I think if McDonald's Gaming can show some of that, show some of that fight in them, that they might still have a chance in this. Of course, we'll be looking to Red to see if he can keep his performance, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Playing anti-flash here on Long. And uh, Red? Okay, just doing some, some TPing around the map. Now, fight comes up towards long. Following in the trailblazer, Neptune's gonna be the first one in. Not clear in Hookah. As the shots actually go amiss, Kurakami does find one with that shorty. Now upgraded to a ghost as Red peeks into CT, dropping mint. His core as well. Peeking shots, but not quite hitting them. Now down to a 1v3. It's all down to Spook. First bound, but no bullets left. It's nine to four now, pistol converted, and things are not looking good for McDonald's Gaming. They had the first pistol, but can't quite get the second in this half. And uh, I will say that this is looking infinitely harder without getting it, of course. With, when you win that pistol, you're also expected to win the next round. And I mean, in an eight four half, it brings you up to six to eight, and you know, six to eight is, a lot more doable than a 9-4. to four. We'll see if they can, you know, make this look a bit more competitive. Hirokami happy to grab this orb. Of course, it is just classics for the most part. Wolf Cactus flashed off and Neptune should spot him. Yeah, not a chance. Red picks up a free one. Neptune goes on into sight. No one here. And of course, no Sentinels either. So not much to stop them on the site hit. And all four remaining defenders are coming from defense. And uh, yeah, things are not going well on this retake. The core has actually found another one. Core, he's actually been doing really, really good. <laughs> he's eight and eight. He's, <laughs> he's not negative. That's crazy. Anyway. I mean, Red's just hit 30 kills. And yeah, on a stomp like this, this is almost not a lot to say. It, it really is just dominance shown at the moment. And I was saying that I'd like to see McDonald's game and maybe try and fight a little bit more, but yeah, it's, I don't know. And Spook's taking a peek out here, but Jetstream's, he's been good with this Trailblazer, although as I say that, a great time and take in just to peek out and find the head of Neptune. Now the head comes towards the site. There is players here as Wolf Cactus does find one and Kurakami with the run it back through the TP. This has suddenly gone really, really badly. Of course, this is just a bonus round, so they aren't expected to win this. Not the greatest weapons of all time is Red overwhelmed. Flawless here. That's what you want to see. Although I will say that that one might be more on more on the uh, offensive side of NYA to maybe try to be a bit more diligent with those corners. Kind of just felt like a bunch of 1v1s, but I don't know. Who, who am I to say I am but a simple caster from a different region? See what the setup is this time. Seems like a lot of these teams like to go towards the B site. They are all grouped up there on that side of the map once again. Yeah, they're running up long. Happy to fight, and this time it's going to be Mimbles to start walking down, finding Core. 
Well, unable to convert that one this time. It's Neptune here. Gonna be the first point of contact and a great nade. Take down Mimbles and now over the top! We'll find Wolf Cactus in the smoke. Completely unawares. Yeah, this site has been cracked open. Plant now down. And a 2v4 retake. They almost need to win this if they have want to have any chance in this, but it's not looking good as Neptune looking for a timing, looking to poke around. It's actually Jetstream to take the contact and Jetstream to find two. Okay, we'll both fall and 11 on the board now. This is not likely to to get any closer, I think. So I, I think that the, there might be some small compositional problems at the end of the day. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to actually while we're here. There's there's not a, not a huge amount to talk about, but I I kind of want to go back in the history and see what NYA or sorry McDonald's gaming have been up to in their previous games because I swear I've seen them seen this seen them seen this seen them play this before. I'll have a look a little bit later on. Is well, Jetstream. He's picked up one and gotten the side, gotten the plant down. Of course, both Yoru's down now, so we're going to be looking to the rest of NYA to make an impact here as Neptune's the first to fall. Mimbles with that great close range off shot as Kurokami as well. Diligent clearing of corners as Ramsey <laughs> completely ignores the one, finds the other as Mint does get dropped as well. All down to Mimbles with this operator, finding three, one left. Oh wait, no, not, never mind, not one left, they won! I thought Wolf Cactus was on McDonald's game and they have won the, re the retake. I should have been paying attention, but I just I just want to see if McDonald's Gaming have played this bind comp before, because I'm pretty sure they have. So I scroll up in the match history... Yeah, they won against Mato Ballers 1-2 in their last game. And they won against Mato Ballers, and they were... They were playing five duelists. On bind, uh, they were playing an ISO instead of the Yaru, I believe. Yeah, Kurikara was playing Yaru last, uh, ISO last time, and they did win the map, eight thirteen. But I don't think they play five duelists on any other map. So uh, yeah, I, I think this is just a bind thing that they're happy to fight. Of course, it hasn't really been going their way this time, but yeah, that is interesting that. It seems to actually be a conscious decision to play five doors on this map. Now Red here had a chance to take a timing against these two players in showers. Two players on the flank as well. Ramsey will fall and Red has a chance to backstab here. Hasn't been caught by any of these defenders in these flank positions as Kurakami bots him but really is not ready as Mint spams down core through the box. Showstopper now popped, looking to find Red. The time ticks, the defuse starts. Red is going to stay alive for now as Neptune does stop the defuse and it's all down to a 1v1 as it's meant to stay on this bomb. And Red not having any of it, the dimensional drift, seeing everything that's going on. No funny business here, no sticking. Red continues his dominance on the server. 33 now. Absolutely insane. And 33 is like, you know, maybe if you're just, you know, getting your one or two every round as a duelist in a long overtime game, you can expect to get that sort of number up on the board. But in a 12 6, the game that's not really even close, 33 is insane. Now we go into match point for this first map. Mint is going to be stopped by by the dog and Neptune will take him down. Not a great start once again, but Kurakami with the run it back has upgraded to a rifle and is looking for more. The will expires. Neptune has continued forward and Mimbles on the flank hasn't been cleared. Finding two. You have to question if Core maybe didn't have trips, and if he didn't, why not? Uh, and yeah, there's there's another two players on the flank here, so I don't know if Red's aware of this. He is moving forward, so he's not going to be caught unaware just yet, but... Oh, okay, yeah, no, he is aware now, and he 
snaps on to Mimbles. And now the spike should be going down. Possibly even aware that there could be another one flank. Yeah, they're gonna go all the way over to the B site just to ensure that they can get this bomb down safely. Feeling that there might be some danger nearby. And it's all down to Wolf Cactus. And uh, I I don't know how this will go. I, I feel like he's just he's just not favored here. Red gonna take the timing with this flash off of the contact from Neptune. And Neptune should have spotted him there. The flash out, but it's too late. Wolf Cactus drops red. It's all down to Neptune, and he's got a guardian. Definitely still possible. Wolf Cactus this would be another 1v2 just to keep this team alive as NYA. They're struggling here, and Neptune saw the head, knows he's not on the bomb just yet. Might peek up. He does. And now they're low. <laughs> the classics are out the pistols. Attackers win. I was lost for words there. I didn't know what was happening. But it's going to be Neptune to find it and close out the map. Bind to go in the way of McDonald's gaming. So yeah, 13 to 6. It's dominant as we go into the next map, which is... I actually don't know what is the next map. I, I don't know. Do we, do we know which, what the next map is? Oh, okay. We don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, we do. Red with 500 ACS. Insane. Okay, sunset and split. Alright. Well, sunset should be a breath of fresh air. I'm excited to see it. I guess we're going to a break now. Can you unserve Miku and Nita? We're in between games now. Sorry.
Alrighty, everyone. Welcome back to the Valorant commu oh, VLR Community Cup. We are map two of McDonald's Gaming versus Namdi Yakuba Alliance. McDonald's Gaming did pick up the first map fairly dominantly, 13-6 against the five duelists. And as I was saying towards the end of the map, uh, I don't know why McDonald's Gaming play five duelists on bind, but they're coming into Sunset with a more normal comp, shall we say. We're actually seeing Clove, and I think this might be the first for uh, this uh, this tournament in the, in the history of the VLR Community Cup. I believe this is the first Clove we're seeing. It's gonna be fast attack from McDonald's Gaming. Good start. It's one for run trade from Core. Spike planted. Now it's all gonna be up to the retake here. A few players low on McDonald's Gaming. This, this the retake does come in. Sorry, I just got distracted by something. Um, <laughs> there is plenty of spamming to go around here. It's pretty popular post spot to play as Ramsey gets two, possibly through the smoke. Maybe looking to get more hair as Kurokami's pinged out. And uh, yeah, this should be a pretty clean retake, all things considered. It's all down to mint on the sky. No one's on the bomb just yet, but they should be forced out now, and Jetstream does drop them. The fuse, not a huge amount of time, but more than enough at the end of the day. Sorry, I just have to fix something. My PC started making sounds, and I don't like that. I got very distracted in the game. Um, there we go, I can mute everything else. All right. Um, <laughs> We're in. We're locked in now. As uh, I orient myself in this game. So yeah, it is McDonald's gaming. Now with a more regular comp, uh, they are on the offense. And uh, it's NYA defending is red. We always see him force up with a Bucky no matter what. Even if he loses, if he wins. And he's been pretty good for it so far. He had some insane Bucky moments last match. And... Uh, We'll see if he can continue that. Most of the offensive team here are towards yeah. mid. Slowly walking up, mint leading the charge. Only has a classic. Of course, this is not their round to win at the end of the day. They are against the buy round since they lost the pistol. But uh, it's gonna be Neptune. Caught out, useful in hand. And like I said, red with this Bucky. <laughs> Looking to find more as Core drops Kurikara. Two now in the series for him. It's all down to Kurikami. Got a lot to do with only a classic and Pink Shells will force Red back. Uh, Red thought about going back in. <laughs> Some from that range, that is ridiculous. Bucky, my why my Bucky doesn't do that. Why does his do that? I guess that's just the Bucky experience there. Just knowing when you can take the shots and hit them. I guess. I don't know, I'm just waffling. And, uh, yeah. Good start for McDonald's Gaming. They, uh, believe a 2-1 and one in pistol rounds so far in the series. I think they lost the first one, but since then they've been looking pretty clean. Not losing any of their anti-ecos either, and now going into the bonus. Well, I mean, it's a, it's an average buy, one rifle, but also a Bucky and a Sheriff. But of course, as I say that, it's red on the Bucky. Of course, it's going to go crazy. And uh, Core should be spotted out by this Trailblazer, tucking back in, not trying to lose his life just yet. As he peeks out, he gets one. Wolf Cactus falls as red holds the back lines. Backs up too far, though, and that Bucky's not going to get another one. Jetstream, button out two, potentially. Crosshair not quite in place to find Kurikara, but still definitely alive. Shock Dot won't find any, but possibly some damage to go across as Neptune alongside Ramsey looking to find some. The stun not quite finding its mark, but the bullets do as Kurikami is all the way low. And he stays alive just long enough for Kurikara to come around and finish off Ramsey. And it's the round converted for McDonald's Gaming, but it's not clean. They lose three and they're gonna have to rebuy shields as well for Kurikami. So 
I mean, it's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad at the end of the day. It's it's okay. They they get their kills. They get the round. And the round is all you really need. But now going into this full buy round, for the most part, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be okay for both teams. I mean, Core's got a guardian and Wolf Cactus is a sheriff, but that's okay. I do wonder why Wolf Cactus has a sheriff. I, I believe they do have enough money to to get more, but that's besides the point. Core's setup should tell them that there is plenty of people on the site and now as the bomb starts to get planted, the rotates should all be coming in. Of course, Mint has found one lurking on the other side of the of the map, as guys tend to do. Definitely. And uh yeah. The dust settles, it's a 3v3. Do we have Neptune on the flank? So we'll see if he can find any. Jetstream looking to make his mark. Oh, Neptune's been dropped. Okay, he's been found, and suddenly this is all over in a flash. Three players falling, and not a single one to fall on the side of McDonald's Gaming, as that's what we want to see. Pretty clean round coming out against the full buy. Now gonna be a more of an eco round. So possibly looking to take the lead here for what might be the first time in the series since the pistol round on Bind. And, uh, I don't actually know whose map pick it is. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's something we can we can figure out. I don't think I have access to the, the map picks and bands, but. Yeah, I'd be interested to know if Bind was their map pick, because it really- it, I just can't get over how badly that went. Anyway, another fast hit towards B. Red here with the Bucky. Looking to peek into the smoke, and he finds Membles. Just the shoulder giving away his position. He's looking for more, potentially. Popping the Showstopper, and that will find Kurokami. He was low, and he will eventually fall as well as Ramsey. That was an ambitious TP on the flank. Mint will find him. Once again, down to a 3v3. Rifles available to be picked up. This core pops that Cypher ultimate, will reveal all the positions in main. Like I said, it's a popular post plant to play all stacked up in main, and while well, Wolf Cactus, fully blind up, gets one, and yeah, once again, this 3v3. Absolutely flawless from McDonald's Gaming. Of course, it was more of a, more of a half buy. So they're not expected to win that, but same time with the neural theft. Well, I don't know. I feel like the neural theft is useful, right? It tells you that, sure, they're all in main, but on the other hand, you kind of know they're all in main anyway, since you cleared everything else out. I guess the only thing it really reveals is that there's no sort of lurks or anything around mid, so yeah, you, you, can, you can get all the information you want, but you still have to clear them out. You still have to flush them out of that position. So now we're going towards A site. And uh, Kurukami won't find any with the showstopper. It will be barreling forward. Neptune to receive. Finds the first onto Membles. Maybe a little bit disjointed as Ramsey sprays down two. Yeah, this hit has not gone the way they wanted to. It was a great flashpoint from Neptune. Drops Kurukami and Kirikara. Wolf fall to the hands of Ramsey as well. So it's three to three. A swift response from the NYA. Not ch choosing to, to not let these losses get to them. Tying it up to 3-3. Three to three. And I believe this is the point in the last last map where I don't... Oh, oh actually, yeah. So it was 8-4 at the half in the last map, so, but... Ever since it hit 3-3, three to three, it, it didn't look super great for McDonald's Gaming, so we'll, we'll see if they can maybe do a bit better this time on their offensive half. Again, it's not five duelists, so I, I do have hope. There's going to be plenty of pressure from both initiators here on A. Seeing if they can draw some rotations over. It is definitely a fake and looks like it might be working. The B site's completely empty. We'll see how long it takes NYA to figure out that this might not be it. As McDonald's game and slowly creep forward, slowly spotting that there is no one around. There's still a cypher set up here and I think these players on NYA have started to realize that yeah maybe this is not going towards A and that from the shadows we'll spot them out as well. Jetstream will actually find the first and Core with the trip 
It's not clear, the mint falls. Now the retake begins. Of course, that from the shadows telegraphed that quite early. As this retake's looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, the I'm not done yet. Maybe popped at a an opp in, in opportune time. And yeah, it's 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 not gonna not gonna get anything done this round. Good from McDonald's. No, not good for McDonald's game, and good from NYA. I think maybe just... Uh, McDonald's a bit hesitant there, maybe? I don't know. They they did all the work. They, they definitely had the play. They had a great oh, fake. Nice all the players go into spawn and rotate and over, but... Maybe just not quite trusting that that was the case, and... Taking too long to get in through a man. See if they can do one better this round, as... You want to they go towards A. Way. This time, there is players behind this utility as they're all going forward. It is just a half buy, so sheriffs and guardians. Now, if you're just choosing to freeze, they have this initial space. They could grab that orb as well if they wanted to, but <clears throat> potentially falling back and choosing to fight mid instead. The round pauses just for a moment. No one quite showing anything just yet. Everyone happy to hold positions. Is going to be looking to McDonald's game and to see if they can make anything happen with these these rifles. Of course, we have the tour de force out from Kurikara. They've hit some nice shots, so they definitely look into making an impact with this. Now, McDonald's game in groups up and heads towards A. See if they choose to use a utility or if they just contact up the whole way. Contacting could be the play. Neptune is kind of just out in the open here. It's the flash. Oh, the shoulder peak. Okay, that will tell them. And this this the stun from Neptune. Should go huge. Let's get tagged all the way down there. Of course, it is just the decays. Jetstream's actually found one. Now these ultimates for this retake. Coming out huge. So, uh, yeah, they're getting flushed out. Kurikara does find one with the Tour de Force, but he's the only one left and sprayed down by Red. Another crazy spray from him. And now five on the board. Four in my Red. Continuing his dominant performance from Bind. Twelve and four. <clears throat> Jeez, I'm losing my voice. Anyway, it's been a little while. It's good to be back though. Plenty of games this weekend. I believe um, there's one for APAC tonight, which I'm casting, and another one tomorrow morning, which is uh, the lower final. No, not lower finals, lower semis. Which, yeah, we'll decide who the loser of this match goes up against in a week's time, I would imagine. Of course, a lot is on this game, right? I mean, if you win this, you go into the grand finals. And that's an advantage that you definitely want to get. Claw cool, gets spotted out by the Trailblazer and fully stunned up. Drops Nembles. Kurakami, though, running into the backside. Good for it. Jetstream gets a sneaky one through the smoke and does manage to get out with his life as well, so. Good play there. And Kurakami, once again, fruitless with the showstopper. Just a 2v3 here, so this is still winnable, but these retakers, they're not together. They are now, but Kurokami not having any of it. Taking the fight to them, dropping them down. How does Kurokami do it with this crosshair? I, this is, I think, yeah, I do remember them using this in the past as well, so I guess they're just happy to not see the head? Maybe that's the, the strategy behind it. If you can't see the head, then you're probably shooting at it? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try that in my own time. So I'm gonna be a bit of a skirmish towards mid here. Beautiful players, all gripped up. Red. Great shot in the first, dropping nimbles. It's a lot of utility there on the initiator, on the KO that you now lose. You lose the info, you lose the flashes. Of course, you still have Mint and Sky, so... Not over just yet, but not ideal either, as... 
the drone will be cancelled by the pain shells while placed there. Looking to fight all the way in here. See if this fight can bring anything. Ramsey on top of the box. Clean flick to Kurokami is... Well, Nip, Nip does get one in return, but as I say that, Jetstream does trade it out and... Well, now the shots, they're being missed and... Suddenly all down to a 2v2, Ramsey! Bots out one, maybe even the second, so... Positions known as core... Oh, he'll spot two as well! Will fall. Not quite good for it, and it's down to Ramsey. I mean, Ramsey has been solved this series as well. I mean, I it's I haven't, I haven't talked too much about him since Red has been absolutely obliterating everyone, but Ramsey has been solid as well. Had a good performance on Brim, and still doing pretty well here on Omen as well. See if he can get anything done. Both players grouped up in market, and they should have heard that drop, I think. Position is known, and the bomb is planted for them as well. Fury car on top of the box, they might be going for a high-low swing here. Smoke should be good, but he'll go down to one Vandal shot, so I don't think he wins this. So, wait a minute, wait a minute! He's sticking it through, he's gotten it! How's he done this? And he gets both as well, just spamming through the smoke! <clears throat> How has he done that? I said it'd go down to one shot, but the shot hits him in the foot, and it doesn't! And the stick comes through! What, the pings? Anyone? Any pingers? They, there's no world Rames you should be allowed to get away with that. No world, that is insane! And getting both kills afterwards as well, on like 1 HP? Insane. Now the stack towards A this round, not perfect. In fact, it's going to be quite the opposite with all five players going towards the B site and score is the first to fall. Just going to be a huge retake here with numbers in favor of McDonald's Gaming as they push forward into Boba. Maintaining this advantage from the first kill. See if they fight forward even more. Good flash, but... The double swing even better. Red finds two. Won't get any more. Is uh, McDonald's Gaming refusing to let that house. clutch get to them? Swift response and looking to close out this half with at least an even scoreline. And this is closer. We like to see this. I'd love to see this go to a third map. And as I said, it would be a real shame if it didn't, since every single game that these teams have played in the playoffs have gone to three maps, and I want to see it go to three maps as well. Which does raise the question, though. Maybe maybe next time that these teams play, especially McDonald's game, and maybe don't play five duels combined. Still haven't gotten over it. Now Ramsey's played on this box a few times. Let's see if... McDonald's Gaiman is aware of this. They are choosing to all go up elbow. Neptune taking a few shots as Kurikaha <laughs> drops Jetstream. And the push into backside. Well, they do have the I'm not done yet, so I thought it was a bit careless, but maybe just looking to try and get a cheeky one and then get out with the ult. And they will be back to life here, as they did get a kill afterwards. Dropped by Neptune, so not alive for long. Ramsey falling off the box. Bit inaccurate with that spray. It is a 2v3 though, so they are still favored here. And positions known. Mambles out in the open, but Neptune whiffs! And it's actually Mambles to get that kill. Fragment should stop the defuse. Yeah, it takes down Ramsey, but Core drops him through the smoke with the Guardian spam. And Core could actually stick this. Not quite. Choosing to try and reclare instead. 5 HP and a Guardian. No smokes either, and yeah. Mint not having any of it. Peeking off of the tap. Probably aware that it was halved, so... No chances to stick, and 6-6 six to six at the half. As I look at the scoreboard, let's see what's going on. Core still having a wonderful performance, all things considered. Red... Not as hot as last game. Still amazing though, 17 and 8. It's nothing to scoff at. And uh Yeah, even though it's a bit more top heavy for McDonald oh, no, sorry, the NYA. McDonald's gaming still very much in things. 
right even though they only have one player on double digits, they're still looking all right. Actually, yeah, I, how is the 6-6? Six -six? NYA just have so many more kills. This is actually quite hard to believe. This, yeah, th that's actually quite crazy. Anyway, Mendel's here. We'll spot out quite a few members of the NYA as this hit is coming in. Good stun there. Doesn't quite catch on, but the sight has been gained and good pain shells. Should force Mimbles into the corner where Red knows where he's waiting. The right clicks. Don't quite land in time. Does eventually drop Mimbles, but traded by Kurukami. <laughs> uh, now in the 4v4 retake. It's a pistol round, so this could be anyone's game. Ramsey on top of the box. It's a common position to play, but we'll see if they clear it on the pistol round. Uh, no, they don't clear him as Ramsey flicks across and gets two. So 1v1 though, as Kurikami went absolutely crazy on the other people as... Oh, Kurikara, what a shot! We'll get the pistol for McDonald's Gaming. 7-6. to six. The second pistol in the series. It's more competitive and we love to see that. And I mean... I like to say I'm non-biased as a caster. I'm only biased towards going to a third map, so... I'm hoping McDonald's Gaming can close this one out. So, uh, where is Curry Car going with this? Oh, this is the chamber trip that's like... I, I believe it's getting patched soon, but you can put a chamber trip all the way up on top of that and it's literally impossible to break um, until it goes off. And by that point, it's too late. There's uh, Mimbles in a world of hard hair, stunned up. Caught by the camera and Red, what are you doing? Just jumping around in the site like it's nobody's business and uh, of course they're not favored to win this round, just sheriffs and classics. I mean, they've gotten two so far and Neptune has a sheriff and a Bucky, so it's not over just yet. Is the Bucky fully blind? He gets two. Wait, this is winnable now. He's picked up a Vandal. He still has all his health as well. And Aftershock in the kit as well. That'll def uh, deny the... The fuse. The tap goes on, choosing to stick this through. Yeah, he's off now. And it, wait! Curry Car just sat there! Myself. Neptune! With nothing but a sheriff and a bucky! Wins a 1v4! On the anti-eco round! How has he gotten away with that? And how does Curry Kara just sat in an aftershock with no health left? What am I watching? That That is a rough one to lose. A Neptune. I mean, normally we see him on Rays, but I mean, he's absolutely destroying on Breach as well. 12 assists and a great clutch as well. Not getting that many kills up till that point, but definitely showing he's got the impact. See if Core can spot anyone out with this camera. It's a very common one. Normally gets broken pretty quick, but... Of course, Mimbles, I believe, just has a shotgun here. Yup, does get Ramsey, but Neptune not having any of it. We'll at least get a trade. The hit comes in through Elbow. The defenders were here, but since they've lost that second round after buying up, they're kind of poor, don't have the best weapons of all time, and yeah, well, a few players do fall, but, you know, their money's fine. They won the anti-eco, and... 8-7 to seven now, their money should be looking pretty good even if they did lose a few that round. Oh my gosh, yeah, Red's got 7,000 credits and still has a Vandal. Should be buying Jetstream most likely and things are looking just fine for them really and... Yeah, we're actually just gonna be looking for the, to McDonald's game and once again... They had the pistol round, things were looking good but... Yes, yeah, things have started falling apart. an interesting game. It's a complete five stack on A site. Interesting decision for the buy round. And I mean, Rolling Thunder won't connect into any, so I guess that's a one positive that that ultimate has been wasted, but off of it, they do realize that there was no one on site, and so all five players now have a free choice of post plant positions. Red, fighting forward a little bit. 
We'll see if you can find any of the first. Does fall, Mimbles gets death stream. So, oh, we, Red's not looking the right direction. It's all down to Neptune and Core. And uh, it was going well until it wasn't, and now spotted out, suppressed, needed. Poor Core, won't find any. And that's the sort of response we want to see. Donald's gaming, coming back from that last round and proving that they can still fight. Great retake. Few ults invested. It was the showstopper and from the shadows still available for NYA. And uh, Kurikara and Mimbles and Wolf Cactus, two away from their own. Yeah, interesting buys across the board once That's again. Let's see Red happy to just use a shorty. I imagine he's probably be go going in with the uh, showstopper this round. And yeah, it looks like it will be fast towards the B site. Yep, there's the showstopper, Wolf Cactus here. Oh, he gets found, Red! Tracking shot there, picks up a rifle. And what a great entry. Once again, proven that he's one of the best duelists we have here in the VLR Community Cup. This bomb now will go down. It's a 4v5 retake. We've seen them convert these you know, numbers retakes before where they have a lot of players alive as Mimbles. Hints of last round dropping one again as Neptune this time looking to fight. Does fall to Kurakami and suddenly this is down to a 2v3. What did I say? All down to core once again and this B post plant. Just NYA, even with the numbers advantage, just can't hold it. And yeah, it really did just look like last round. Where even though, you know, it should be a 50-50 kind of round, right? You still have numbers. They still managed to convert it. A really impressive retake from McDonald's game and all the pieces coming together. It was, uh, it was a good start from Red, but yeah, it's not quite able to bring it through. It's, yeah, this is the fight that I wanted to see. This is this is what I wanted to see from McDonald's Gaming. Coming back into things and showing that they're not just gonna, you know, drop out after a 13-6. Let's see if NYA can have it with anything different to show. It's mostly been fast hits so far, which is, you know, okay as long as they're winning, but... Things have not been going so well towards B, so they're gonna try and attack into the A site. Kurakami on top of this box. It's not a common player for a defender to play, and that fault line will send him back in his red with the wide swing. Does get dropped, traded by Jetstream. And Core here. Will he get cleared? That was an interesting question. Chooses to peek out, does find one, and well, the fight's this time going the way of NYA. It's all down to Mint. And this would not be the first 1v2 he's won this series, so it's all down to him. Still has mostly all of his util. Flash and a dog, see what he can do, but the one way. We'll give it up, and... Well, it was a nice try, tied up once again. This map proving to be a lot closer than Bind. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm actually impressed by Core. Like, really impressed by Core. And I mean, I know it's like, you know, he's not at the top of the, the scoreboard or anything, but as an IM player, he's not at the bottom of the lobby. And actually, talking about the bottom of the lobby, Wolf Cactus, I mean, I don't know if I've seen the most impact coming from Clove. I mean, we've seen the metal do a bit of damage here and there, but not much converted off of it. Now we're going towards the A site once again. All the defenders sort of grouped up towards this spawn, happy to sort of wait for the hit to come in and play their retake, and fair enough, right? Their retake's been looking really, really good. Kurikara with the Tour de Force, didn't quite find the mark, but no problem at all. And we'll spot out the spy cam. And that should telegraph that, you know, there's probably a few players towards A, but with that being said, it is just Wolf Cactus here, and he's about to peek into four players! Only finds one. Of course, they're not done yet, and that ultimate's gonna give him a second chance at life. Looking for another, but does get dropped. 
Ultimate oh, coming no, out exactly. fruitless is leaving it up to his teammates to try and find something in the round. Raimi dropping mint. Maybe a little bit ahead of his teammates is Kurakami now with the showstopper. Doesn't find any. Bailed out by Kurikara. Keeping his life as well. And that's the spike. Wait, no. He wasn't ulting for the spike. He was ulting into CT. And Ramsey's found another. His favorite box on the defense. Now finding one on the offense. Didn't expect to see that one come out. Now 1v2. All the players low. Would have to be a monstrous effort from Kurakami as this time it's going down. The great paint shells to maybe bring us through. But Red... A good trade, a bit of a bait TP from Ramsey. It's close, but it will be NYA taking it out. Uh, yeah, I was saying before the round started that... Yeah, I don't know if I've seen the clove get that much done. I mean, it's, the smokes are... Uh, smokes are smokes, right? You know, it's hard to go wrong with smokes. You know... You, you just learn the default positions on any map and do what your teammates ask if they want something different. And you're probably fine, so the smokes are fine, but I don't know, I just haven't really felt like I've seen that much from the other stuff. Especially not the ultimate, I think I've only seen it properly go off once. And then they ended up getting traded anyway, so... Yeah, we'll have to see. I'm still a fan of clothes though, I'm not gonna lie. I think maybe, maybe just an unfortunate performance so far. Kind of hard to highlight Clove when they're not getting kills, but all good. The rest of the team's been doing pretty good, and okay. Jetstream popping the Hunter's Fury to clear out mid as Mimble's tagged down. Will be finished off by Red as, yeah, he's just fighting forward. Blast packing up tiles, and oh, it's Wolf Cactus here. Taken down by Core. And yeah, Core. As I was saying, not at the bottom of the scoreboard, and definitely trying his best to stay off of that position. <laughs> the Ion player in the lobby. I don't know how he does it. I've had James West in the sky, and that's crazy to say. Anyway, Red creeping forward, spots the shoulder. It's just a half clear, though, as Kurikara does drop him. It was close, though. He is tagged all the way down as... Well, the spike will go down, and it's a 3v3, and Core potentially has a, a lurk to be made here. Will he get checked? Mm, kind of. Doesn't quite hit his shot, though. Jetstream, slowed by this trademark. Will find one, gets out with his life as well as... Well, it's 2v2 now. Trailblazer does catch on to Jetstream, and... Feels like he's been stunned or slowed at every moment, and he's peeking back round and finding another one mid falls. It's all down to Kurikara here. Has to try and keep McDonald's gaming alive, but Neptune. Round the back of Pillar. Edging out the lead to two rounds now. Two rounds away from a series win for NYA. And, uh... Well, it's not the greatest buy this round. We'll have to see if McDonald's gaming... choose to buy into it. Looks like they will be forcing. And, uh, yeah, time's getting tough there. Now three rounds in a, lo in a row that they've lost. Let's see if Kurikara can get anything done. Stunned up, pushed, forced to TP out, and Mint won't find any. Another good start for Red, finding these openers every single round. Kurikara. Well, taken down by Core, and Core finds another one. This is messy, just maybe not expecting them to be so close, but I don't know how you don't expect that. It's now in a 2v4, two players on the flank, Kurokami. I mean, being good this series, 26 kills, rivaling red, but... I mean, can you get it done here? It's a lot to do. I mean, Wolf Cactus would have to step up as well. Ult's available, and... Well, red's not having any of it. Now on to match and series point. It's not looking good for McDonald's Gaming, and of course this is not the end of the world if they lose this, but I'm sure they don't want to. Going to the lower brackets is always not as ideal. So yes, yeah, upper final. Good to you. The winner of this. 
goes through to the finals and NYA can taste it. This will be a, a good win to get. Showing their dominance, it'll be a 2-1, the first that they've gotten this whole entire, you know, playoffs series. But, uh, well, this round, Kurokami waking up, dragging his team, kicking and screaming over the line. Two kills found, Red and Ramsey, the big ones. Of course, Neptune has also been insane so far, this game. All the players, honestly, I mean, look at the scoreboard, 13, 14, 15, 16, even Core pulling his own weight. But Neptune's fallen, and now in a 2v5 ultimate, decided, okay, it doesn't quite land. And uh, Core, too many targets to choose from. Jetstream, I don't think this is one you win. One kill to his name, but no more. Bleeding stems for now. They stay alive, one round closer to OT. Two chances for NYA. And, uh, <laughs> bit of a rose of that round. I was about to question, do you want to pop that ult in the 2v5 against Core? But I guess you do, maybe. Maybe you do sometimes. Core's been going crazy this game. In 13 16, it's not nothing, nothing to scoff at. So now we go into A once again. His defender's pushed back and it's just Mint here on the site. And if they choose to go towards him, there's no way he's getting out and Jetstream has spotted out Kurikara. Unaware of the potential push from Tiles is... Well, Mint's in a world of hurt here, flashed up and dropped by Neptune in the first kill. Once again, not going too great. His core has found another! This is probably it. 2v5 now. And the spike has been go <laughs> going to the other side of the map. McDonald's gaming, not taking any chances, and the whole core taking a moment to drop a preemptive GG. I think they can smell it. The 2 0 for NYA to take them to the grand finals. Jetstream. Finding Kurokami. It's all down to Wolf Cactus. It would be a 1v5, but red. So good with the showstopper. 30 once again, over 60 kills in the series, in two maps. 2-0 for the NYA Namdi Yakubo Alliance, taking the series today. And yeah, GG's, not too sure if there's any more to, go, any more to say, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. We will see the, the lower semis to see who will be going against the McDonald's gaming squad for a chance in the finals.